Hello, and welcome back to this dark, dingy, dreary world. Last time we basically set up red science and functioning smelting. So this time we hopefully will do more useful things. We have a copper backlog. So the first job is to move this onto iron. And of course that's going to cause an issue with belts. Um, there we go. Problem solved. Uh, right, so what's the plan today? So we've done loads of work on basically setting up enough power to run our RoboPort network. And enough smelting and production to be able to unlock sciences. If we look at our techs, we are just running through some techs which um, deal with setting up vehicles. So that's what we're going to look at today. Today is going to be all about vehicles. Uh, the what? So we're going to have a quick look. Chain gunner. So these are the vehicles we're going to use for defence. They're going to run around shooting stuff. So that we need to queue those up. Um, we should probably also look at what else is here. So this um, is some kind of scanner. Scans vehicle position status in inventory, sends vehicle commands automatically, sends them to a specific direction to coordinates or to follow a player or other vehicle. Scan or set unit data to change vehicle memory and jar, 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 jar. No idea what any of that is. And this one scans tiles to detect resources, enemies, and structures. Place zones automatically at coordinates. Scan zone tile positions. Again, I have no idea what that means. So we are going to do both of those because they look like fun. Um, can I do this? Hmm. Maybe there's a reason. Maybe I'm doing the wrong gesture or something. No? Let's go back in and see. Everything here looks right. Um, sorry, it's been a very long day and, uh, no, it doesn't want to queue up. Oh, well, I will queue it up in between things. Um, we're at the moment making some arms because before we can, uh, let's see, what's this waiting on? Engines. Yeah, it's just this endless thing of switching the uh, few assemblers we have between the various things we need them to do. So this is what I will do off screen. Um, just to remind you, we have this contraption here, which makes um, fuel. Then this this fuel runs our power and everything left over is used for the things which require burnables. Um, <clears throat> and that is pretty much it. So I'll be back once we have unlocked a bit more tech and started to build some vehicles. We've crafted two of these mining things. Um, so I'm not quite sure what we do with them now. I. I seem to be able to pick them up and put them down. And then once they're in here, they need fuel, which obviously I can't provide. Um, and I'm not sure how to pick them up again. So, whoops. Yeah, it's all a bit of a mystery. Um, so we'll figure this out, I guess. Um, yep, I can't even drive them around. So that's going to be fun. I'll be back when I know what to do with them, and we've got the chain gunners unlocked. This is so much fun. Uh, so, we've got a vehicle here. I can go over it, press enter, and drive it. Um, I haven't worked out how to pick the thing up, though. Once it's on the ground, it seems to be on the ground. Um, so, I'm going to drive this mining vehicle over here, I guess. Let's see what we can do. So is that mining? Okay, so it only seems to mine while I'm driving it around. Let's stop driving it. Sit it still. Yeah, that's not mining. Okay, well, while that is fun... Whoops. Yeah, while that's fun, I don't think that's a life plan. So, let's move this over. Take it back over here. 
Um, right, sorry, let's stop this. I have just made a vehicle deployer and a vehicle depot is the next thing, which needs boxes, iron chests. So I need to add iron chests onto this as a thing it requests. There we go. Okay, so let's bring this back. And I can jump out, and I'm back to magic mode. But I, I can't find a way to deconstruct this, so... Interesting. So I've got some chain gunners. I've got some miners. So I'm going to put them... I'm going to request them back into this central storage, I think. Um, there we go. Mining vehicle. Um, hauler. And... Chain... Gunner? Good. So now I think I can upgrade these. So this will take a circuit and a miner. And turn it into an AAI miner. And I think we can do the same thing with the chain gunners. So there we go. So they Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to make a chain gunner. I meant to make an AI chain gunner. There we go. Let's see if this works. So this has now turned both of our... Yeah, it's turned these into AI chain gunners. Okay. So then... I think we can take a vehicle deployer and put it down somewhere. And this will... It doesn't rotate. This, this is something we can feed vehicles into, and it will spit them out, uh, ready to drive. But I'm not ready to get into that yet. Um, I think we're going to carry on making some things. I'd like to make a hauler. So there we go. We'll make a couple of haulers. What I am going to do is... Um, we're going to make some... Ammo, something which we haven't really done so far. Okay, are we building up a stock of... We are. Stock of gears, that's good. So let's change this over to ammo. This is going to be the world's slowest ammo production. Um, because this has got some fuel in, which is great. Um, and I guess I would also like to have some ammo here. Okay. And we're going to give this a go. So I think what I can do is take an AI chain gunner, put it here, it now has fuel, and bullets. And we can let that buffer up. Um, and then we can get a second one buffered up, and then we should have a functional mini army, which I will then take to um, liberate the neighbourhood. So let's let's have a quick walk around. We haven't actually looked at our um, surroundings before. Okay, so I'm limited to how far out I can go. I can't explore from map view. It looks like the world is peaceful, at least in what I can see here. Okay, so it might be time to put down the radar again. We took that away because uh, of power problems. So let's see, if I put the radar down here, then it will explore a bit out that way. Um, okay, then let's get over here to this chain gunner. Let's drive that out of the way. And we'll get the second chain gunner Get this one fueled up. So this has 27 bullets and some fuel. That's not very many bullets, but it is some fuel. I think... I mean, I think that's absolutely tons of fuel, isn't it? By the way these things go. So I'm going to... Yeah, just turn that off. This is going to need some bullets. What I'm going to do is jump in this, and we're going to go for a drive. And I'm going to keep the bit of an eye on fuel use. Ah, uh, it seems fine. 
doesn't seem like it's going to drop off the map immediately. Oh, goes through trees. That's good. Now, can I... No. Can I select... Yep. Right. Vehicle AI is off. Driver override. Now vehicle AI is on. ID 1. In group 1. Alright. Now what can I do? Can I... I can't drive it anymore because I've turned that off. Okay, so I need to select this. Okay. So... I'm wondering how I drive these things automatically to get them to follow me around. I don't want this path here. I just want to, I just want to be able to click somewhere in the in the world and get it to drive there. Okay, shift click. Oh, okay, and it routes round obstacles. That's handy, isn't it? And I see a nest. Here's a nest. Brilliant. Alright, so let's have a look at the... I hope I'm okay there. Let's get back over here. This... I've just told that to drive over here. That's pretty cool. Okay. I wonder how long it'll take for the other one to get here. So I am going to drive around in circles. Alright, let's get back out of range. I want this one to come down here. Alright, this is much more like an RTS game. So this can come down. Can I grab them both? Yes I can. Great. Now we can grab both. Okay, so I think I have to keep them moving because they're not going to be smart enough to dodge worms. So I think just keep clicking, keep moving. Done the job, hasn't it? Okay. Um, we've got a bit of a problem with damage, but that's fine. Let's head back to, to home. They can drive home. And are they moving? They are both moving. Oh, I'm really pleased about that. That's, uh... <laughs> okay, I can jump out of the vehicle. Um, I don't know why I was even in it. I just had this irrational fear that I would get dead. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Um, we've done a thing with a chain gunner. And I guess the next thing is to try and automate mining. Uh, so if we grab a... Mining vehicle... Good. And then it can have some fuel. And this is an AAI mining vehicle. Alright, whereas this is just a mining vehicle. So the unit remote control doesn't work for that, but it does work for that. This is our, our difference. Okay. So then I think I can set up a path for this where it, it okay so that's going to drive a, a zigzag around this iron um, loop 
always show start position. That's fine. And it wants to speed, does it? I don't think I really want to deal with that. Um, I can move the waypoints up and down the list. Um, okay, so we can zoom into these things. So we can select what selected. While this waypoint is selected during a waypoint, we'll overwrite its waypoint settings, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, so I'm not quite sure what all these settings do. I'm sure they're incredibly useful. Um, right, so then this one, this is unit one of type. Unit ID is three. It has some unit data and AI is on. Okay, so I'm not quite sure how to add this thing. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Um, no, not that one. Maybe it adds them at the bottom each time. Okay, so Let's see if to assign a unit to a path, order the unit onto the start position with the unit remote control. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Let's take the... Okay, that. I'm going to order it to the start. Okay. And off it goes. At its very, very slow speed. Um, let's hope I haven't done anything really stupid here. We've got trucks. Okay, I've got plenty of trucks. Um, I think we want to upgrade all the trucks to AI haulers. Okay. Okay. So this is now driving around our patch like I asked it to. So it's showing the next path in blue each time. Okay, and I guess it doesn't really matter what path it takes at the moment because it's um, it's just driving around, isn't it? And while it's driving around over the iron, it's collecting iron. So. Um, the next job is to try and figure out how we get the iron out of this and into something we can use. So let's have a look here. We take an AI hauler and fuel it up. What other things do we have? We have a position beacon. Meh, that doesn't sound very useful. Um, vehicle depot. Okay, let's make some of these. So the vehicle depots rapidly transfer items to and from nearby vehicles based on input, on signal input. Set a positive item signal to accept that item from a vehicle. Set a negative signal to supply that item to vehicles. All right, so this has some fuel. So I'm wondering if we can get this to haul iron to the smelter empty. Um, does this have everything it needs? It just needs some iron, doesn't it? I think we have, do we have lots of chests or not many chests? Uh, we have not many chests. Okay. Because we're just, we're just strapped for iron is the short version. Turn that off. And how are we doing? Because science, science is still happening. We still have 81 gears, so we, we're not in trouble yet. How's this doing? It's filling up quite nicely, isn't it? Okay. So... I guess we could, for now, just set up a... Um, a depot right by the miner. 
and dump the ore into that and then put it on this belt. That would be a simple way to get things going. But I'm a bit more worried by um, the coal mining. We're, we're out of fuel. We're, we're burning it as fast as we can do it now, aren't we? Um, so, maybe there's something I can do here. Let's drive this. This is the one that I may never be able to upgrade. Um, <laughs> Because I'm not sure if I will ever be in the situation where I can um, turn it into an AI version. But what I can do is drive it over to coal. Very slowly. Okay. And is there something I can do here? To, yeah, so I can mine coal with it. That's, that works. So maybe what we can do is set up some kind of automated mining of coal to run this thing. That, that would be really good, wouldn't it, if we could do that. And then that would solve the um, immediate power problem, because we're now using a lot more of this fuel to fuel truck. Okay, how's this doing? Oh, it's it's collecting absolutely loads of, of ore. Um, this is the way forward, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, we're we're strapped for fuel. So, I think I'm going to make one more AI mine. Did we manage to make any of these? No, because we don't have circuits. Okay. And we don't have circuits because we don't have the copper coils. Okay, and then we'll set this to circuits. And I'm just going to queue up all the level one sciences. I guess tool belt isn't really needed, but I'm, I'm going to get it anyway. Uh, we're just going to do all of these um, because I'm hoping to move to a hauler based solution for, um, just a minute, yeah, I'm hoping to move to a hauler based solution for the second, for the actual science build, so I just want to get this uh, science bootstrap done for now. Okay, I see some bugs, but we've got this really tiny pollution cloud at the moment, so that's, that's not a problem, it's just at some point they will become big bugs that are difficult to, to handle. This has eight bullets, this has zero bullets. Okay, so let's see if we can load this up with some bullets. This whole situation here is not very ideal. Um, we will, again, we'll sort this out with, probably with these things. I'm guessing these vehicle depots are what's gonna supply us, supply our vehicles with fuel and ammo and all that stuff. So this is now this is alright, this has fuel, so I'm gonna move that out of the way. And this has a full set of ammo. That's pretty cool. What are we waiting on here? We have a depot. So that's how big a vehicle depot is. Um, so I can I put a vehicle depot here? Okay. And, okay, so it has an ID, it has an X and a Y. It has X over 100, whatever that is. Um, I'm just looking at the signals. There's a list of output signals. So there's a Y over 100, a Y, uh, an ID, a something that looks like a stack, an X and an X over 100. And some health, but that's not a signal. Set signals here or connect to a network. Okay. Set signals here. Okay, so this is going to request iron ore. So minus 1000.
Okay. So this this vehicle has iron ore. And does this get close? No, it doesn't get close, does it? Okay, so I need to modify the path then. So let's go back to this remote. So uh, position one. How do I... No, that reorders it in the path. I want to actually move the position. There we are. Then I think I can delete part one. Okay, so now let's watch this go around the loop. Um, holding this path remote is dangerous. Okay, so it's driving around. Move it out of the way. Driving around. It now drives over the hauler. No, nothing happened. Okay. Um, in that case, let's click on here and change it from minus 1,000 to plus 1,000. In fact, I'm just going to pull the slider all as far as it goes. Okay, so this is now a positive number. And it's working. Okay, so it's, it's managed to throw iron because it got close into here. Okay, so this now has some iron. This is now mining some more iron. I think we've done it. We have automated some mining. So now I can basically just get rid of these. Yeah. And instead, we can have That is amazing. And I guess I don't even, I don't need this copper stuff anymore, do I? Because we can set up a, a miner for that. Let's double check. We are going to need to set up mining soon. But this looks to be the basics of how we're going to set up our mining from now on. That is awesome. Uh, do we have one more of these? Okay, so I can set up another vehicle depot around here somewhere. And this is going to be a vehicle depot which deals with coal products. Do I want to do that here or do I want to do it all in the same place? I think I want to spread these things out. Okay. So yeah, I am kind of stuck because I want, I do want this to... Um, okay, so if we click on here, I want this to request coal all the coal. All right. Um, and then I, I want it to, do I want it to provide fuel? Because I think what I can do is put these actually around the depot. Um, like that, and then back that way. You get the idea. So I could do a direct depot build on these. Um, anyway, I think that's something for next time. What I'm quite excited about is that we have managed to automate mining. Um, we've automated the first aspect of defense. And um, I've managed to get a completely useless mining drill that I can't do anything with. So that's the result as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna leave it here. Um, we will hopefully move towards some kind of factory in green science next time. Till then, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you again soon for this exciting monthly map. Bye-bye.